New Stealth Bomber B-21 Raider. Northrop Grumman Corporation, NYSE NOC, in partnership with the U.S. Air Force, will unveil the B-21 Raider during the first week of December at the company's Palmdale, California facility. The B-21 Raider unveiling will be a historic moment, providing an exclusive view of the B-21 aircraft. The B-21 is the most advanced military aircraft ever built and is a product of pioneering innovation and technological excellence, said Doug Young, Sector Vice President and General Manager, Northrop Grumman Aeronautic Systems. The Raider showcases the dedication and skills of thousands of people working every day to deliver this aircraft. Stay tuned for more information. Hello guys and welcome to our channel, Fighter Jets in Action. Please subscribe and like this video and we love you for it. Since contract awarded in 2015, Northrop Grumman has assembled a nationwide team to design, test and build the world's most advanced strike aircraft. The B-21 is a product of Northrop Grumman's pioneering digital engineering practices and advanced manufacturing techniques together with breakthrough stealth technology. Northrop Grumman is proud of their partnership with the U.S. Air Force as we deliver the B-21 Raider, a sixth-generation aircraft optimized for operation in highly contested environments, said Tom Jones, Corporate Vice President and President, Northrop Grumman Aeronautics Systems. Six B-21 test aircraft are in various stages of final assembly in Palmdale, California. Northrop Grumman in the U.S. Air Force confirmed in May that the B-21 first flight is projected for 2023. The actual timing of first flight will be based on ground test outcomes. The unveiling will take place at Northrop Grumman's Palmdale site during an invitation-only event. Northrop Grumman is a technology company focused on global security and human discovery. Our pioneering solutions equip our customers with capabilities they need to connect, advance, and protect the U.S. and its allies. Driven by a shared purpose to solve our customers' toughest problems, our 90,000 employees define possible every day. What is the B-21? The B-21 Raider is a new high-tech stealth bomber being developed to replace the Air Force's aging bomber fleet. Designed to be long-range, highly survivable, and capable of carrying a mixture of conventional and nuclear ordnance, the B-21 will join the nuclear triad as a visible and flexible nuclear deterrent, supporting national security objectives and assuring our nation's allies and partners. At the 2016 Air Force Association's Air, Space, and Cyber Conference, then-Secretary of the Air Force Deborah Lee James announced the B-21 would be named Raider alongside Lieutenant Colonel Dick Cole, the last surviving airman from the famous Doolittle Raid. According to the Air Force, the Doolittle Raiders are known for their surprise attacks against Japan during World War II on April 18, 1942, which forced the Japanese to recall combat forces for home defense and boosted morale among Americans and U.S. allies abroad. James and Air Force Chief of Staff General David Goldfein selected the name from more than 2,000 naming submissions. As adversaries continue to invest in and develop advanced weapons, the B-21 Raider will provide the United States with a strategic asset capable of penetrating enemy air defenses and reaching targets anywhere in the world something approximately 90% of the nation's current bomber fleet is incapable of doing. Currently, only 10% of our nation's bomber force is capable of penetrating advanced adversary air defenses. As our adversaries have continued investing heavily in sophisticated technologies and weapons platforms that leave them free to act maliciously or extend their reach, a new bomber is critical to deterring potential adversaries, reassuring allies, and keeping our nation safe. In a War College podcast, combat strategist and retired Air Force Lieutenant General David Deptula said the B-21 will provide the kind of payload, range, and penetrability that our current Air Force's B-1s and B-52s and, to a small degree, B-2s cannot accomplish. The U.S. Air Force has stated plans to acquire at least 100 aircraft. 
Some defense analysts believe the Air Force should plan to purchase at least 200 B-21s. The U.S. Air Force identified Ellsworth Air Force Base, AFB, South Dakota, Dice AFB, Texas, and White Man AFB, Missouri, as potential hosts for the B-21 Raider. Ellsworth AFB has been selected as the preferred basing location for the first B-21 main operating base and formal training unit, and Dice AFB as the alternate. A final decision is expected in 2021, following compliance with the National Environmental Policy Act and other regulatory and planning processes. The Air Force has selected Tinker AFB, Oklahoma, to coordinate maintenance and sustainment of the B-21 Raider and Edwards AFB, California, to lead testing and evaluation of the aircraft. The Air Force has stated it expects first aircraft deliveries in mid-2020s. While we cannot speak to specific job figures due to the classification of the program, it will undoubtedly support thousands of direct and indirect jobs across the country. Due to the program's classified nature, the U.S. Air Force has not publicly shared a production schedule. The Air Force has stated that the initial test aircraft is currently in production at Northrop Grumman's manufacturing facility in Palmdale, California. The Air Force has stated it expects first aircraft deliveries in mid-2020s. Northrop Grumman is the world's leader in stealth technology and is the only company to ever develop, build, sustain, and modernize a stealthy, long-range strike aircraft, the B-2 Spirit Stealth Bomber. The company also develops and implements the key, all-aspect stealth components for next-generation aircraft such as the F-35, and we are also behind some of the nation's most advanced unmanned systems, including the X-47B and Global Hawk. The B-21 is a crucial capability to maintain our nation's security, and we are honored to continue our near four-decade partnership with the U.S. Air Force designing, building, and maintaining advanced long-range bombers. We are fully committed to executing this program effectively and efficiently, on time and on budget. As the only company to have designed, built, delivered, and sustained a stealth bomber, we are honored to build the next one. Successful load calibration test reaffirms Northrop Grumman's confidence in its digital models. In early May, Northrop Grumman successfully completed the first and most critical loads calibration test of the first B-21 aircraft. The recent test is one of three major conditions the aircraft will undergo in this phase of ground testing as it progresses towards first flight. Loads calibration, which focuses on calibrating instrumentation prior to flight and verifying structural integrity, has yielded positive and consistent results. During testing, the B-21's airframe endures varying percentages of stress to ensure the aircraft can proceed on its path to flight readiness. During the ground test phase, in addition to loads calibration, the team will power up the aircraft, test its subsystems, and apply coatings and paint. The next step will include carrying out engine runs as well as low-speed and high-speed taxi tests, and then on to the first flight. From day one, Northrop Grumman has proactively worked to burn down as much production risk as possible. Throughout the engineering, manufacturing, and development phase, the company has emphasized risk reduction efforts and production readiness as one of the many priorities for the B-21 program. In line with the risk-based approach, the successful calibration test is a significant milestone that further validates the efficiency of the company's digital design capabilities and advanced manufacturing techniques. Northrop Grumman has invested in a robust production program, one that is foundational to the national defense strategy to deliver the B-21 at a rate that will have a real effect on the U.S. Air Force in combating the threat. Innovative application of digital engineering and commercial off-the-shelf digital tools continue to deliver an advanced degree of precision and efficiency in the build process, with production risk reduction progressing every day as B-21 test aircraft move down the actual production line. The first flight projection of 2023, as is now being reported by the Air Force, is aligned with the information communicated during the company's Q1 earnings call and remains on schedule to the Government Acquisition Program baseline. As the Air Force has indicated, the focus is on a safe first flight of a production representative aircraft. 
with six aircraft in various stages of production and test, Northrop Grumman is processing towards the objective as it continues to reduce risk, refine the building process, and mature the test fleet ahead of first flight. Randy Walden, Director of the Department of the Air Force Rapid Capabilities Office and Program Executive Officer of the B-21 Raider Program, recently said, the B-21 test aircraft is the most production representative aircraft, both structurally and in its mission systems, at this point in the program, that I've observed in my career. With the first aircraft in the ground test phase and a successful load calibration under its belt, Northrop Grumman is paving the way for the B-21 rollout later this year and first flights in 2023. Well that's it guys for today. Hope you liked this video and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell for the most recent updates on fighter planes.